this one. This one. Con. What is up, guys? Welcome back to yet another, hopefully, good fall video. I think last time I saw you guys, I was out tog fishing up north, and I did pretty good. I had one keeper. Um, I had a few other short fish, but it was a grind. Spent a lot of hours there, and that's been the theme. I've been fishing, haven't making too many videos um, past few days over the weekend, really. Just kind of fishing here and there, um, doing some tog fishing. I had one keeper, and that was it. I let it go. It's been rough. We had a hurricane epilson epilepsin epilepsy hurricane epilepsy was out there causing quite a uh, quite a mess we had some big swells up on the beaches up on the jetties and i mean i really couldn't fish on there i bought some boots almost got washed off a jetty uh yeah it was a quite a quite an ordeal and didn't even have much to show for it so we're going back out tog fishing today still got two dozen crabs left over which is probably pretty much the only reason why i'm doing it um i've tog fished a lot even though you guys haven't seen too many videos you know, story with that, um, technical difficulties pretty much kind of ruined a lot of uh, good tog fishing videos I had, but probably gonna be one of the last times I go tog fishing just because it's, it's getting cold. Um, it was like 40 degrees last night and striper season hopefully is right around the corner. It might even be this week that I do some striper fishing. So anyways, guys, I got an hour and a half drive. Just got done online school. It's around 12.15 now, October 26, I believe, 2020, of course wonderful year and uh yeah guys i'm gonna stop talking turn on the car and get rolling down the highway and i'll catch you guys back at the jetty we'll see what happens hopefully catch some fish hopefully it's a good video and hopefully no tech technical difficulties probably fishing around two o'clock let's burn through some crabs catch some tog and have a great time all right guys stay stoked see you in the video Guys, as you can see, we are now stopped about an hour and a half ride, and we're here. So I'm stoked to get out there. Might look kind of iffy while I was driving, but when you're going highway speeds, the uh, the fog kind of turns into rain. But it's not really even raining at all right now, so it should be good. Even there's some sun out behind me, so we'll see what we can do. Hopefully, crank on some tog, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. So fingers crossed, we catch some fish and get our gear on, get out there, and hopefully, crank some tog. All right, guys, in here we got our backpack full of stuff. Crabs right in here. What's this one? We got a rod, so we'll tie up some jigs, get out there. And let's see what we can do. Alright guys, so we're gonna be starting with a one four and a half ounce um pretty much just naked color right here. It's just a plain lead jig um i'm gonna kind of try to not start off with anything too fancy just because i haven't fished here in a while and if there are a lot of snags which there probably are um i don't want to have to lose a bunch of jigs for no real good reason so just start with this to kind of beat it up i have the most of these and these are the cheapest let's just trim that tag end off right there and here we go our gorgeous new tog setup Riptide bait and tackle, uh, tsunami slow pitch, seven foot rod right here, 3,000 size Shimano Nasky, 20 pound power pro. And here we go. First little crab. You can cut the legs off these guys or maybe you're supposed to. Uh, I'm not really feeling that fancy today. I feel like these fish aren't gonna care as much. So I'm just gonna get down here on some of these rocks and see if I can find some fish. So there should be, they should be here. Um, perfect time of year. It looks almost like slack tide. And I had some good days here last year, so. Hopefully there's some fish here. And we can only do, all we can do is pretty much wait from now on, so. Just gonna how these crabs sit, maybe pop around a few different spots, see if I can find any tog and any holes. And we'll see what we can do. So we're already down. Saw one short call earlier. And we'll see what happens. 
One Eternity Later. All right, well, guys, it's about two and a half hours later right now. And as you can see, I'm not on the jetty, obviously. Um, so I had to switch up spots, go to a little backup plan. So there is a pretty local spot to where I was that I kind of just drove over to. Um, there's a few people here, but I don't know. I got a few crabs to burn up. Got maybe a dozen, dozen and a half I need to get rid of. And yeah, so hopefully we catch some fish here. I'm not really expecting much. I'm going to keep the GoPro rolling just in case I catch anything. But uh, yeah, hopefully we get some tog. I know there are tog in here. It's not the best spot, but we can get some tog. Maybe a keeper. That's really what I'm hoping for is a keeper tog for you guys and for me. So <laughs> we'll see what we can do, guys. Hopefully we get on some tog, any tog. Be able to make a video. I'll catch you guys on the GoPro. If we catch anything, I'm going to keep it rolling. Not going to do too much narration just because I don't know if I'm going to get anything. And I'm just going to kind of chill back. It's a pretty low-key spot. It's going to kind of dead stick my rods and we'll see what we can do. Second one, guys, might have found a good spot. Little one, but still a tug. A little seven inch right there. See ya. All right, beating up like our fifth crab right here. Looks like we found a good spot where the bite's working. Um, I really didn't know I was gonna make a video after that jetty bust two hours there. It was kind of just come here to burn off some crabs and relax but we just caught two togs so i might make this into a video we'll see if we can get some more so far i would say we're doing pretty good Fish on. Fish on. That's pretty good. Oh, there we go. It's like a little 10 incher right there. Not a bad fish. I think that's the uh, third one for this little backup plan. Not bad at all. Yeah. Decent, looking for a keeper, but still got like a dozen crabs left, so we still got plenty of time. Sweet, here we go. See you, bud. All right, let's get uh, get some more bait out there and let's chill out. Probably overestimate, probably only got a half dozen crabs left, but you're not getting snagged every two seconds, knock on wood. Looks like the crabs are going a little bit slower, so nice, 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 nice. Hopefully there's a keeper around here somewhere. But other than that, doing pretty good. 
Got one rod over there, dead sticking. Trying to work this rod over here, just gonna be holding it. And yeah, we'll see what happens. That might make him feel a little bulkier, but he almost took my rod in. I would have deserved it, but here we go. I'll probably let my little guy. Yep. Our little like five inch right there. <laughs> there we go, guys, right there. A little tiny, probably 10 inch or so, maybe even just eight inches. But nice little tug. Almost took my rod with him. That's awesome. All right, send him back. Backup plan seems to be working. Got only an hour left of sunlight, really. It's already getting dark, but <laughs> should have to catch that guy. All right, send him back. There you go, bud. See ya. Back down he goes. Thought that guy was a tank. He literally almost took my entire rod in the water. So these guys definitely do got some muscle. Would not recommend this technique right here. Pretty much risk risking my setups. Fortunately, hasn't been a giant tog yet, but it's a... Uh, definitely possible and hopefully welcome but firstly let's just see if we can get a bigger one to bite they're all around same size so oh nice cast they're all about the same size maybe just eight inches or so but nonetheless still kind of fun to catch them and hopefully catch some bigger ones so we're back down we'll see if we can get any more bites maybe get some more fish Fish on, fish on. <laughs> so much fun when they're all fired up like this. Here he comes, water's so clear too. Nice. My phone's dead, so unfortunately I have to get some pretty bad pictures, but it's all right. GoPro should, should do it justice. There we go, in our little six incher. See you, bro. All right, let's uh, pull some more crabs out there. Like I said, phone's dead. Almost out of crabs. Just really, just fourth quarter finale. I'm stoked that we're catching any fish. Got four crabs left. Here we go, let's chop up some of these little joints. I'm sure there's some bigger tog around, but hey, these fun tog, when I'm not getting snagged up, I'm not losing a million pieces of tackle, this is great. So, not the best for size apparently, but hey, size doesn't always matter. Five ounce weight right here. Going pretty heavy, but you got so much current right here. I'm just kind of just lobbing it. I mean, they're stacked all over pretty much. Doesn't really matter where you go, but hey, I'm catching fish, I'm happy. It's gonna be dark soon, gonna grab some Taco Bell. Then I'll be on my way, but at least we caught some fish. At least I made a half decent video for you guys. So I'll take what I can get, that's for sure. Toss our second rod out there too. Oh, there we are, getting our bite. Fish on, fish on. Oh, popped off. Dang it. And I'm even dead sticking. You can never dead stick for tog on a jetty. You would lose all your gear in two seconds. But this looks like it's working pretty good, so I'm not complaining. Let's get our second rod out there because one rod is definitely not enough. All right guys, so we just snapped off this rig. Um, I caught a pretty decent tog too. Hopefully you guys saw that. Uh, it was only maybe 11 or 12 inches, but still pretty decent. And this is our second to last bait. So we are almost out of here. As you guys can see, it's getting really dark. We're getting pretty dark. Um, probably can't see too much on the GoPro. Phone's dead. Oh, there's a nice bite already. Phone's dead, almost out of crabs. And I'm getting pretty tired. So I've been out here for a long time, but at least, at least I caught some fish. Um, backup plan worked out pretty good apparently. So we got maybe half a dozen tog I think so far and we got 
what, one, two more baits to go. So we'll see if we can get anything else. Hopefully we do. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Should be out of here in a few minutes and then on my way to Taco Bell, then on my way back home. There we are, a little bite, a little bite. Oh, hung up on a rock, dang it. Oh, got it back. I think where our bait's going, yep. And that is gonna be a wrap, folks. I will see you sometime in the car once my phone reaches enough battery for a complete outro, but yeah, stoked. We got all some fish, um, found a new spot. I really actually like this. Just catching some fish and not losing too much tackle. And yeah, let's get back on the road. Already cleaned up most of my crap. All right, well guys, what a good way to use up some crabs right there. Ton of fun, backup plan worked. Let's get back in the Sem Mobile, send it back home for a good night's sleep and get some homework done. So it's around 5.45 right now. Catch you guys on the way back home for an outro, a proper outro. All right, well guys, I did forget to record an outro for this video, um, but not really sure what else to say. I pretty much summarized everything in the uh, latter half of the video. I mean, it was a good backup plan. I went to the jetty expecting to catch the tog and absolutely got nothing. So um, went went to the little canal spot, caught some fish. Really couldn't have been any better. I mean, could have got a keeper, but catching some shorts, just dead stick of two rods, just kind of relaxing there. It was a ton of fun. So anyways, guys, it's going to be a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. I will see you next week or in a few days with another video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Um, feel free to like and subscribe to the video and support me on Patreon if you want to. Link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.